Hello class, Mr. Stone here. The problem I found online today, hey, it looks pretty neat. It says solve for x. So now let's see what you have. You have negative x squared over 2 plus 6 equals negative 186. Hey, how would we do that? Okay, hey, yeah, this is going to be easier than you thought. You just watch. Okay, so first thing, here, let's rewrite this again. So we got negative, whoop, get the pen going, pen, negative, whoop, get a bigger point than that. Okay, we got negative 6x squared, 6x squared, over 2, plus 6, plus 6, equals negative 186. Okay, hey. First thing I'd do, hey, let's get rid of that 6 on that left-hand side. So, hey, it's a plus 6, so the opposite of plus 6 is a negative 6. So what we do to one side, we've got to do the other side. Okay, so hey, this all comes down. So we got negative 6x squared over 2. These two cross each other out, a positive 6 and a negative 6. Hey, it's zero. They cross each other out. The equal sign comes down. Now we got a negative 186, and then we're subtracting 6 from it. So that means we're going even further left. What are we going to have on this? We're going to have a negative 192. 192. Okay. So now let's see from here. Okay, I'd get rid of the um, 2 at the bottom. So what i do, I'd multiply each side by 2. So we multiply this side by 2. And what we do to one side, we got to, oh, this, this is a negative. We got to do the other side. So we multiply that by 2. Okay, let's see what we get here. These two cross each other out. So we come down with a negative 6x squared, right? The equal sign comes down, equals. Now, 192 times 2, 384. And this is a negative. Okay, now, let's see what we got. We got negative 6x squared. So that's negative 6 times x squared. So hey, what's the opposite of that? I divide by a negative 6. What we do to one side, we got to do the other side. Okay, so let's see. These two cross each other out. The x squared comes down. x squared. Now it equals, okay, 384 divided by 6. Sixty-four. And it's going to be a positive because it's a negative divided by a negative. That's a positive. So I'm going to make it a positive just so I know. Okay. Hey, this is getting easier and better and better. Watch. Now, so what do we got? We got x squared. What's the opposite of x squared? We got to do the inverse to get x by itself because that's the ultimate goal is x by itself. So, hey, the opposite is take the square root. So we take x squared, take the square root of x squared, and what we do to one side, we got to do the other side. So the square root of 64. Okay, so this crosses this out, this crosses this out. The x comes down, x equals the square root of 64. Hey, I know what it is because I know a lot of my square roots. Okay, it's 8. 8 times 8 equals 64. Okay, that's the answer. That was it. But you see how we get to that? We just work down step by step by step by step. And you see how nice and neat I wrote everything? Okay, so that way at the end of the test, when I finish... If I got plenty of time left, I want to go back and I want to check this math, okay? I got some time. So, hey, I want to make sure, hey, I take um, negative 186 minus 6. Does it equal 192? Did I do it correct? Or did I write 193, 194? Who knows? You know, did I, you know, um, subtract 6 or 384, you know, divided by 6? Does it equal 64? I want to do this again on my calculator. 
Okay, just to, because you can make a lot of silly mistakes and they'll cost you. But if you write nice and neat, you can go back and check your work afterwards. Okay, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because the more people I get that subscribe, um, the more people will see my channel. And that will help students because students are going to see problems like this on exams. And if they see it solved like this, they're going to say, oh, yeah, hey, I'm going to just do this step by step. They might get in the habit of writing nice and neat. You know, writing good notes instead of just skipping the steps and doing the stuff in their head. Okay? Um, and they'll get better grades, and that's a guarantee. Okay? Um, thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.